In this video, we will be working through the workout problem set for SQL functions. We're going to be using the classic models database for these queries. So go ahead and use the classic models database. Pause this video and take some time to complete these queries. Hopefully you've had the opportunity to complete them successfully. Let's go ahead and solve these queries. Let's start off with the first query. To determine how many products are present in the classic cars product line. We want to count of the number of products in a specific product line. So we want to look at the product table. We want to count the number of products. And so let's say for instance, I count the value of product code that is present in the product table. The condition is they need to be in the classic cars product line. I will say where product line is equal to classic cars semicolon giving us 38 products in the classic cars product line. The next query asks us to determine the average markup on products of type train. Markup defined as the retail price minus the buy price. So we want the average of that. So it's going to be select average MSRP minus buy price from the products table as we're looking for the markup on products where product line is equal to trains. And the average markup is around $30. The next query asks you to write a query to determine how many orders were placed. So we want to count the number of orders placed and that in the orders table. So I should be counting order number from the orders table. There were 326 orders placed. The next query asks you to count the number of orders that were cancelled. Now, how do we know orders were cancelled? Well, if you go ahead and take a look at the orders table, one of the columns is the status. And in this case, status has a value, one of which is cancelled. So I shall select count of order number from the orders table where status is equal to cancelled, giving me six orders that were cancelled. The next query asks you to count the number of office locations in the USA. So in this case, we're going to count office code from the offices table. These office locations have to be in the USA, especially have where the country of the office is equal to USA. See, we see have three offices in the USA. The next one asks you to list the average minimum and maximum payments made. So we want three different things. Payments um, are, uh, or the value of payments is present in the payments table as amount. And so we have to select the average amount, the minimum of amount, and the maximum of amount from the payments table to get this result to find out what the average minimum and maximum of payments were. The next question asks us to list out the difference between highest and lowest price of classic car type products. So we want uh, four types of products, specifically classic cars, the difference between the highest price and the lowest price. And so I want from the products table where the product line is classic cars. I want 
the difference between the highest and lowest prices. Uh, so I want the max of, and so when we talk about price over here, think about the retail price, MSRP, and subtract the minimum of MSRP. Semicolon at the end of the query, and you run this. And so the difference between the highest and lowest prices of classic car type products is $178. This concludes the workout problem set for SQL functions. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.